Okay, mate. Um, so, uh, VTC here. Now, I've got VTC on this, and there's, there's – I'm not sure what chart you're looking for. Is it the USD pair or – like there, there is no USD pair from what I can see. It's uh, it's only a trading view chart of it, and that there's a BTC pair of it. So you may be on about the BTC pair, but I'm going to look at the USD pair here. It's interesting that it's very old. You know, it's one of the oldest coins in the market. It's 2014, so it gives it a very interesting perspective of uh, of the magnitude of bull markets. You know, you can see that the recent bull market uh, was here. Now, I don't really believe that this is just ready to move back to the upside. There is, like you can see, obviously suppressed here by, by this. Now, if I, let me show you a fractal. Now, it's not a great fractal, um, but when you get a large drop and then you consolidate into the white 100 moving average, you know, a suppressing price, like it, like suppressed price over here, you can see that there's this, test pump we'll call it just like we have a test pump here now after that test pump well price dropped and it actually started holding and grinded back above all moving averages when you got back above all moving averages then it was actually a very good sign of strength and well we can see what happened it actually led to another bull market uh, in this so i bring that to to you know maybe if price can actually show strength and get above these it might actually be ready to run. But buying down in here is a little bit risky. Now, there is a very nice two-week candle, I have to say, though. There's no question about that, which which was a true stop hunt back into the previous base. I mean, if I take that back out there, I mean, you can see we're dipping back in, in here, which is a stop onto these lows, and we're back up inside. So there's a new two-week candle in four days' time. Definitely would be interesting, you know, to see if there's there's a buy here to push up. Um, if you actually look, we had a similar situation right here where um, we actually stop hunted. See here as well, we actually kind of stop hunted these lows with this candle, and then we had a second two week to the upside, as you can see right there. And it's very similar circumstances here. I just remove that. Um, you can see there was a bit of a dip on the two week, and then the dip on the two week was a buy, and it actually bounced. Bloody hell, that's 90% bounce. That's a, it's hard to see that, but you can see 70, 80, 90% bounce. Now, I don't know if we can bounce 90%, but you know, on a new two week, if there's a dip, and we actually push up in here underneath the 200 moving, underneath the 100 moving average, you know, there, there definitely could be some upside to this. Another interesting observation we had the real bull market. Then we had a test pump. We had the real bull market, and then we're having a test pump. Do do we need to do this? You know, b before like, like we based here for a year after the test pump for a reaccumulation. Then we went into an even larger bull market um, than we did previously. You know, the, this these bull markets seem to be getting bigger uh, as we go. This was a bit of a test pump. Do we need to, um, you know? Chop about here and then and then go back up here again. But anyway, it's uh it's definitely an interesting chart. Um, I, I I have no idea fundamentally has it done anything. It's still here, still in the crypto space. Six month charts. Um, I mean it's probably good to trade the new six month if if you're really looking to trade this. I mean as we've seen the the, the two week show the potential of a buy. Um. The last time we had a candle like this, hmm, it's interesting. It's definitely interesting. Look at this. It came right back up in the support. You know, a lot of times in this, in the last bull market, uh, we, we, we tested support, which took kind of liquidity. And the next time we came up there, it was easier to break through this. So that that's, that's definitely an interesting scenario. I mean, if we're green, I, I do think it's a long. Um, you just you see in this last one, there was a dip back down halfway and into 50 percent of the candle roughly now if we're, if we're to come down 50 percent of the candle somewhere where is that well you can see that i mean it's a it's a test of double bottom you know kind of in plan that the safer area is if, if you get a double bottom down here you know maybe that's the place i'm going to set an alarm down here anyway uh i think it'll be quite important if we actually come down and stop on this 
yeah, so that, that's the thoughts on it. Uh, slightly longer video, um, but a new two-week candle, you know, th this this is kind of suggesting there could be more upside. A little, a little bit like back here as a bit of a blueprint.